Mark and I were discussing what is exactly classic El Nino, but... I mean, she kind of covered it there, but... Yeah, I think warm. Yeah, you tend to... A lot of the country tends to be warmer than normal. And okay. that includes our area. Not every year. And, and, you know, here's the deal. I went into great detail on this, I think, on Monday and Tuesday. Okay. And you can find everything. It's written for the regular person, not just nerdy people <laughs> like me. It's on the weather blog. You can find it there. But just my final thoughts I used when I talked about this Monday and Tuesday. Good chance here in the west of the Cascades we have milder and drier conditions than normal. Not every El Nino is exactly like this. I think a biggie here is long periods of snow and cold, you know, where it comes back several times during the winter. I think it's very unlikely, but there's no reason we can't get one snow or one ice storm in there. That has happened in El Nino winters. Uh, Cascades, a biggie is that we tend to have a little warmer storms and wetter snow. Uh, there's always some wild cards each year. You know, for one, we haven't had a, a, a widespread regional windstorm in many years. Same with a big flood. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but some year it's going to happen. And lots more info here. You can find the two blog posts, kptv.com, to the weather section, and you can check out all the details about what we've seen in the past and what we might see. In fact, a lot more info on the mountains up there. All right, that's a live view up at Ski Bowl. Nice and warm, 67 up there. What's ahead? Well, we've got a dry Saturday and more dry than wet Sunday. We just don't see that much rain. So Sunday showers, I think it'll be a little drippy in the morning only. Not much rain accumulation or, I guess, totals. Uh, next week, most likely dry Monday and Tuesday. We've made Tuesday a little drier. And uh, some rain later next week, but uh, temperatures are just going to stay near average. We don't see any dramatic fluctuations up or down. There's a really weak system out here. Notice where we're over here. So I think as we go through the daytime tomorrow, we'll start to see more and more clouds coming from that system. Let's go to the forecast cloud cover. Remember, rain is green and snow is blue. There's no snow on what we have coming up here. But um, you see in the morning, it's kind of broken sky. There could be a sunbreak or two. In fact, even in the afternoon, it's not totally clouded in. I think we're going to call tomorrow mostly cloudy. But basically, weather doesn't really affect your life much tomorrow. So just go on with your usual activities. Now, tomorrow night and Sunday morning, some scattered showers do show up. 24 hours ago, it was looking pretty wet on Sunday. But now there just isn't as much uh, energy. So uh, we think by Sunday evening, the chance for showers is going away. And Monday is just kind of partly cloudy like today. Rain forecast from one of our models. This is one of the driest. It actually has little or no rain here in the valley showing up all the way through Monday. So there you go. Portland forecast then. Easy forecast. We're going to kind of cloud up as the day goes on. Uh, dry lunchtime, fine outside for lunch. Kind of a typical October day here in our region with a lot of gray, not that much sun, and a high temperature of 67. That's about four degrees above average. A little cooler, we think, Sunday and Monday and Tuesday, uh, but still likely dry Monday and Tuesday. Overnight lows should come down finally into the upper 40s, which is normal. Um, and then at some point, Wednesday, Thursday, I think we'll get some rain in here, but we'll see if models back off on this stuff too. In general, Riel, this is not a, a, a this is not like the beginning of the big wet season. We don't see a whole bunch of rain coming up, but temperatures do turn a little cooler, but these are average, around 60 or so is typical as we head into this uh, last week of October. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.